I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this video, we'll learn more about how do we find ground velocity in vectors application. These are similar to solving relative velocity questions. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Here is a question shared by one of our students. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, posting questions and excellent suggestions. Let us look into this question now. A pilot wishes to fly to Toronto, south 20 degrees east of his present position. If the average airspeed of the plane is 520 kilometers per hour and the wind is from north 80 degrees east at 46 kilometers per hour, in which direction should the pilot steer? What will the plane's ground velocity be? We have a number of videos similar to this in our playlist. I would like you to explore and then look into these solutions. We'll begin with sketching a vector diagram. So the first step will be to sketch a vector diagram. So to complete this diagram, we'll calculate angles. And then we'll apply sine law and or, or cosine law to solve triangle. Once we do that, we'll get the relative velocity or the ground velocity of the plane. So these are the steps involved. You can look into some of the videos which you have just posted. Solution of one, how do we figure out how do we sketch a vector diagram? Okay, let's continue. A, play, a pilot wishes to fly to Toronto, south 20 degrees east. It means really what? South 20 degrees east means this is the south direction, that is north, that is east and west. From south, 20 degrees east, that is what you want, correct? Kind of like this, where the angle given to you over here is 20 degrees. So from south, 20 degrees east, that is the situation. The average airspeed of the plane is 520 kilometers per hour and the wind is from north, 80 degrees east. So how do you sketch? wind north 80 degrees east magnitude being 46. So from north 80 degrees means 10 degrees less than 90. Do you see that? That is wind. So, so what you have here in the diagram is the final velocity which we refer to as ground velocity. And what we need to find is a pilot wishes to fly at this angle and we need to find in which direction should the pilot steer. So to find that, you need to complete this parallelogram. You get the idea. So pilot needs to steer in this direction. That is where the plane needs to be steered. So that's the angle which you need to find. So clearly, it is more than 20 degrees. So let's call this angle as theta. So the total angle from south will be 20 plus theta. You get the idea. So that's the vector diagram. You need to provide the angles. You know, wind is 80 degrees from north. 
And so this angle here is 10. How can this help you to figure out another angle in the triangle? That's what you need to find. And then solve this triangle using sine or cosine law. So I hope you got the concept. And now, let us look into the solution of this question. I'll encourage you to pause the video and answer it yourself first. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivan. <laughs> Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there, join our summer classes and get ready for bright future. Okay, so let me again sketch the diagram for the benefit. And this time, I'm going to make slightly bigger diagram. So, we are given that the destination is 20 degrees east of south. And the wind is coming from north 80 degrees east so that is the wind direction correct for well, this angle is 80 degrees so we made our parallelogram and then we know that plane should be heading in this direction so that the resultant is the destination Now, if you look at these diagrams, you can find the angle at a point given here because we know the 20 degrees is what is the destination from the point. So, those are alternate angles between the vertical lines and here between the horizontal lines, we have 80 degrees. So, you know, this is 20 plus 80, that means total of 100 degrees, correct? The plane is traveling at 520 kilometers per hour and the wind is 46 kilometers per hour. Is that clear to you? So, you have a triangle in which we are given two sides and an angle. So, you have a combination of side and an angle and therefore, you can apply the sign law, right? Let's find this angle theta first. That will give us the steering angle. So, sine theta over the side opposite, which is 46, should be equal to sine of 100 degrees over the plane speed of 520. So, from here, you can find what theta is, which is going to be sine inverse of 46 times sine of 100 degrees divided by 520. Is that clear to you? Use calculator to find this angle. So, sine of 100 is 0 0.9848. We'll multiply this by 46 and then divide by 520. This is 520. And what we get is 0 0.0874 and we'll do shift sine inverse of our answer and we get an angle of 4.99, <clears throat> around 5 degrees. 
7, right? So, we'll approximate this to 5 degrees. Let's redo this. 46 times sine of 100 divided by 520 and then shift sine inverse of our answer 4.997. So, we get this angle of theta. That means the total steering will be how much? Can you tell me now? Well, we have to add the two angles, right? 20 plus theta, so which is 5 degrees. So, steering will be 25 degrees. Does, does make sense to you? So, I hope this concept is clear. So, we have found the first in which direction should the pilot steer. So, from south, 20 plus 5 is 25 degrees east. What will be the plane ground speed? So, now we need to find the ground speed of the plane. We can again use the sine law. Since we know one angle is 5 degrees, we can find the other angle, correct? So, 180 minus this angle is how much? 180 degrees minus 100 minus 5, correct? So, 180 minus 100 is 80, take away 5 is 75 degrees. So, with that, you can find the ground velocity. Is that clear to you? Correct? So, again, I'd like you to pause the video and find the answer. So, we have some values here. We'll use these values and then again, redraw, recreate and find the magnitude for the ground velocity, right? So, using our diagram, which we just did, I'm making it slightly bigger so that we can clearly fill in the values. Well, this is the heading, that's the wind, that's the direction in which the plane will be going. The angle here was calculated as 100, this was 5, and so we found this 180 minus 100 which is 80 and take away 5 gives us 75 degrees. The velocity is given to us is 46 for the wind, 520 for the plane. And the third side which we need to find is ground velocity. So, Vg over sine of angle opposite to it which is 75 should be equal to the velocity of 520 given to us with an angle of 100. So, Vg is equals to 520 times sine of 75 over. All these are in degrees, sine of 100 degrees. So, let us calculate this. So, we have 520 times sine 75 divided by sine of 100, which is 510.029. So, I will just write 512.10, the units being kilometers per hour. Is that clear to you? So, that is how we have to solve this question, right? So, we have this angle, it is 510, the magnitude, right? And the direction being from south 25 degrees east. Perfect. So, that is how the equation should be solved, right? So, I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you really want to learn, you can always contact me on the given email address. Please provide your suggestions and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.